Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton. Three Packard Bell beige box PC towers strapped into a trench coat together pretending to be a person. And welcome to this, the episode zero, setup episode, introduction-y thingy for my new blind let's play of Paradise Killer, an investigation game influenced by cosmic horror, vaporwave aesthetics, and horny but not overtly sexual visual novels. At the start of every full, old-school, in-depth Let's Play that I make, I like to take a couple of minutes to talk about why I picked a game, what it is, and any special rules I'll be playing under. I used to include that at the start of the first actual episode, but I want to try and make it easier for people to jump right into my new series, or any old ones that they happen to go back to from the future, and skip this peripheral junk if they so desire. So if you are not interested in my peripheral junk, you can go right ahead and click this link to episode 1. For those of you who are, Paradise Killer is a detective game set in a post-real vaporwave dreamscape of cyber gods and sun-drenched Miami beaches, in which you, as the protagonist Lady Love dies, attempt to discover who killed the future and why. For anyone who knows me, it should be clear why I would find such a thing appealing, however, many of you may not, so I'll explain. There's actually several elements to this game that are interesting to my cracked and broken mentality. First off, I played it for about half an hour and found it so utterly charming that I felt I couldn't play it just for myself, and wanted to share the process of discovery and the experience of understanding this horrible new place and hideous society with you all. Secondly, building a good investigation mechanic in a video game is a kind of a game design holy grail, as while you can account for what the player does and does not know, it is extremely difficult to have the in-game system successfully account for what intuitive leaps the player can make. It is easy to put a detective story in a game, but the vast majority dodge the issue of design by simply having a rigid plot. There are plenty of games about solving mysteries, but generally a character performs the investigation at their own pace and we merely pilot them from point to point. There's no room for the players to actually figure anything out for themselves, and if they do, the game often requires them to jump through the same sequence of hoops regardless. Designers have attempted to solve this in various ways, but every attempt to actually systematise an investigation and allow for the player to deduce things and experience intuitive leaps themselves is of interest to me. In short, I love dramas of information, where I can exercise my mind and I'm allowed to figure things out for myself. Second, I have a deep and lasting love for various niche microgenres of electronic music, and Paradise Killer is heavily influenced by Synthwave, Vaporwave, and more specifically, Future Funk. While Synthwave is nostalgic for an imagined, better, and deeply unironic childhood of 80s pop culture maximalism, Vaporwave is inspired by the empty-souled ennui of 90s consumer culture. Future Funk, for contrast, indulges in the same nostalgic backlooking of Synthwave, but directed at the pop culture elements of the 90s, and without Vaporwave's bitter satirical edge. It is also more strongly Japanese-influenced via the lens of 90s teen girls falling in love with Sailor Moon VHS tapes. This is starting to turn into a music critic review, however, so I'll move on. I'm not particularly playing under any special rules for this series, but this will be a blind playthrough, and I have attempted to avoid all spoilers. Usually I let's play games I'm deeply familiar with, but as I said, I wanted to share this, and one of the few things I have heard is that it cannot really be replayed. I'm hoping it will be interesting to follow along as I blunder around attempting to solve murders with the dusty and battered CPU I call a brain. One other thing I want to mention here is that the game has recently received a major update which adds new story elements to the game world. This might sound good in the abstract, but I have very strong feelings about this kind of modification, for reasons I will talk about in the Let's Play proper. As a sneak preview, though, curation and preservation, and the destruction of a work of art as it was originally experienced which I can now never see for myself. Anyway, with all of that out of the way, we can start the Let's Play proper, so please join me next time for SCA Plays Paradise Killer Episode 1. If you like what I do here, make sure to like, subscribe, and especially to share. I also live stream some games to Twitch, and I later archive those streams on this channel. There is a Discord server with some channel news and stream announcements, and if you'd like to help maintain my continued existence, you can donate to me via Ko-fi or Patreon. All of these links are in the description, and as always, thank you so much for listening. See you next episode.